Hi, so I'm making um, another clip for the members of Tatsumaki Taiko, but I'm putting these out on YouTube so anybody out there who's interested in Taiko can take a look at them. Uh, this clip is a continuation of a, a clip, uh, another clip that I, where I started is discussion about what I call the, or called the G beats or the Giuchi beats in Taiko. Uh, the G being sort of the fundamental rhythm in the song. So the first clip that I put out, I talked about two G beats, one the straight beat. Okay, the other one, the swing beat. Okay. And those are all right, left, right, left patterns. There's no real sticking change in, you know, in either one of them. However, the two beats that I'm going to talk about in this clip, the what I call the horse beat G and the Matsuri G, they do have a sticking change. So, and that's important. To, you, know, you have to focus on how the sticking uh, is played in each of these two G beats. So, the horse beat G, I think it gets that name because when played fast, it kind of sounds like galloping horses. Okay. The sticking is right, right, left, right, 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 right. That's if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, it's left, 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 left. Okay. Whichever hand, you know, you happen to be. Um, but I think, actually, I think this is a good uh, practice um, for building up your left, and I actually use the left-handed horse beat um, when I'm teaching to do that. Um, but let's go back to talking about technique again. So there's a downbeat, right? 10, take a 10, take a 10, take a 10, take a 10. That's the rhythm. 10, take a 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 10. So if you want to practice this to get even, be you know nice and solid on it. Uh, put a metronome on. That metronome could be the downbeat of the rhythm. The ten, take a ten, take a ten, take a ten, whatever tempo. Ten, take a ten, take a ten, take a ten, take a ten. Doesn't matter. Ten, take a 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 ten, take Bad habits. Let me talk about that. I always like to do that when, when I'm discussing a, a, a rhythm. So, especially these G beats. So, one bad habit, as always, is a lazy left. So, when you're playing the horse beat, it's not going to sound right if you don't elevate and hit your left firmly. So, here's a bad example of you know somebody playing the horse beat very right hand heavy. Okay, all I'm hearing is right hand. You know, I'm not hearing the left. So, in order to hear the left. Elevate it. Okay. Doesn't matter what tempo, they sh your hand should be moving about the same in, in elevation of the stick of the pachi. Okay. Um, the other thing that happens with this rhythm is that uh, people morph the sticking. So you have to be careful about this. This is a common um, bad habit that people get into. Sometimes they don't even know they're doing it. So instead of it being right, right, left, right, turns into right, left, left, right, left, left, right, especially fast. That's correct. This is the other sticking. Okay, that may sound the same, you know, if you close your eyes, but uh, if you're trying to li line up your rhythms and your downbeats and get all your accents and everything to work with, you know, certain um, sticking combinations, um, that's not technically correct um, for the horse beat. So be careful about that. Right, right, left. Ten, take a ten, take a ten, take a ten is the correct sticking and the correct rhythm. So again, right-handed, left-handed doesn't matter. You know, ten, take a ten, take a ten, take a ten, ten left-handed, ten, take a ten, take a ten, ten right-handed. In fact, I encourage you to practice it left-handed. Okay, the next rhythm um, I call the Matsuri G, um, which is, I call that because it's it's commonly used in festival. Uh, music in, in Japan, so festival matsuri. So um, this rhythm has got sort of a, has two halves to it, and the rhythm is ten take a ten 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 or on the taiko. Um, so what's important about that rhythm? Again, the sticking, making sure that you're using the the correct sticking, right. Okay. 
Um, and again, another rhythm that you should start slow. Elevate your hands. Okay, that's very important. And then um, if you want to speed it up, put a metronome on. Gradually speed up the metronome. 10, take a 10, 10. 10, take a 10, 10, 10, take a 10, 10, 10, take a 10, 10. Moderate tempo. 10, take a 10, 10, 10, take a 10, 10, 10, take a 10, 10. And then up tempo. Um, so, uh, one other thing that I, that I like to um, always talk about with this rhythm, and I tell people this because I think it, um, it's, an, it's kind of a nice thing to do with rhythm, and it gives it, I think, some kind of sense of movement. But um, when you play it, if you wanted to just play it sort of mechanically, you know, uh, with the sticking, um, there's nothing wrong about this, but I, I think it sort of so sounds mechanical. So let me, let me explain um, what I mean by that. So... So I'm doing 10, 8, 10, 10, 10, 8, 10, 10, 10. So what I'm doing there is I'm just doing my last left, right beats this, this way, sort of alternating my hands. Okay. The way I like to play the rhythm, and, and this comes from um, a trip, when I took a trip to Japan, I was watching a, a festival and I looked at the uh, person playing the shime, listening to his rhythm and it sounded for some reason more lively and it had a sense of movement to it and I was watching his hands and I suddenly figured out what he was doing. It's very subtle but it's a really nice um, way of adding some feeling to the rhythm. And that's that that last left right has a sort of rolling flow to it. So instead of being left, right, left, right this way, left, it's kind of this rolling wave kind of feel to your hands. So when you play the rhythm that way, I think it has a sense of movement to it. Okay. So I don't think there's anything wrong with playing it the other way. I mean, it's, it's, this is a very subtle thing. But to me, I think that gives it some feeling. And I also think that when you speed it up that way, um, this, the feeling sort of stays in the rhythm and, and you can make the rhythm speed up with a sort of flow, so at a faster tempo. So I'm still employing that hand movement. Slower or faster, it doesn't matter. Right? Uh, in fact, I think it makes it easier to play it faster. So, there's two more beats, two more G beats for you to practice. So, those are four uh, of, the, of the Gs that are used in Taiko frequently. Straight beat on the first video, straight beat, swing beat. Uh, on this video, horse beat and matsuri beat. Um, I encourage everybody to practice and to keep playing. Um, keep, keep practicing with a metronome. Uh, don't be shy or, you know, afraid to jump into your taiko rehearsal or your taiko group and ask them if you can play the G. I think um, that's the way you get better. You just got to, you know, just dive in sometime and try it. Um, and, and it does require, uh, you know, you to be uh, focused and um, very steady because you're the one who's setting the feeling and the tempo for the entire group.